So eating is a very good way to do the grounding, especially if you cook yourself. That is the most satisfying grounding thing. Otherwise, it is simply dumping a food in the body wherever, whenever it wants. But if you convert it into a ritual, there is a better satisfaction, and uh, the attention will be shifted back to the body. You see, after yes, you need to hold on to the body because after you get the knowledge. after it is realized nicely fully in a solid way the first thing that comes in the mind is this body is actually a burden this world is completely meaningless activity to be alive in this world is completely meaningless activity that will be the first thing that comes in the mind so what happens is that the energies will start leaving the body it will happen it happens to many people especially those who are advanced enough those who do not have the mountain of desires behind them they will simply leave like sadguru used to say that your moment of liberation is same as your moment of death that's why he says do not hurry for it <laughs> you don't want liberation today because uh, this creature will die yes yes you need to keep a balance between your impurities and uh, uh um, the purity the purity needs nothing really the purity in you needs no body no experience no world nothing so how to hold on to the body by introducing the impurities as you know you see the story of ram krishna paramhans he had no need to stay here but he assumed few desires or it to, or some people they will take on the desires of other people okay i live for you now this will be their attitude because there is nothing to do here so there is so much so much dispassion after the knowledge that usually there is nothing to do nothing will feel comfortable the detachment is complete on the path of knowledge it is not a effort to be detached less like in the other paths people are doing effort to be detached by being celibate or by doing the fasting or by kirtans or bhajans by you know forcing their mind out of the world but we don't need to do that in the, on the path of knowledge knowledge will do it automatically and it is so whole and complete that you see the body will start leaving the energies will actually they will leave you can see them leaving from your feet then from the lower body then from the hands fingers and like he said it becomes light light means it will be gone and there will be thought i don't want it now <laughs> i am very happy leaving this illusion but as you know this is not the purpose of the path of knowledge the path of knowledge simply says that you know get the knowledge and live your life normally without doing anything extraordinary without making a big deal big drama of the knowledge you need to stay balanced and uh, ordinary nothing extraordinary should be done so what do we do we assume impurities after the knowledge or we keep the impurities we do not purify it completely because complete purification means complete removal from the world why are we here because of the impurities so there are great people you know i know a few of them like osho sadguru jaggi vasudev they have taken on some mission they have taken on some of the dirt of the world to stay here otherwise they don't belong here and this thought we uh, will um, occur in those who get the knowledge that why should i stay here and then you will need to assume something you will need to take on something so for me now as you know it, the only thing that i do is that is it seems meaningful actually it is not meaningful but the mind says it is meaningful is to pick others pick others and take them with me that is the only thing that seems to be remaining otherwise this body is ready to leave now when day somebody was asking you know what do you do <laughs> how do you live and the answer was very depressing which which i don't actually answer most of the time and the answer is we are we are all waiting for death now if an ordinary person listens to this answer they will think that you know the path of knowledge will make you suicidal so we don't say it like this never say it like this but when you 
talk with somebody who already knows who has already advanced on the path of knowledge you will agree that these all seekers they are holding on forcibly knowingly to the human existence they can leave now if if they want but there is something which prevents uh, some people still have some fear left i should not die they say but a seeker has nothing left actually even the fear looks like a joke so the only thing to do is utilize your time in service serve your body serve your mind serve everybody nothing else and those who are ignorant they should not worry they are going to stay alive even if they don't want and they will keep coming for many lifetimes there is no danger on the path of knowledge actually but deep is saying then i am thinking let's explore maya yes you see you need to take on a project now exploring the illusion is very big project how big it is infinite <laughs> like he said unending so that you know some structure can be kept in you so that this thing the individual in any form the human form or any form will survive for many many million billion years if you take on a project many people have done that otherwise it will grow it will uh, dissolve into the greater memory and that is not the end actually but that is the end of the individuality and once the individual ends these questions will end you know what to do and how to remain in form and how whether to explore something or not these questions are going to end when the individual ends now you should remember that death is not ending of individual it is simply changing of the forms so when the individual ends there is really nothing to do that is not the end of the illusion actually that is not the end of the structure the structure continues expanding producing more forms the balance will shift to the causal side if you do too much of the spiritual things so what do i do i suggest people to stop doing too much of spirituality initially the instruction is totally opposite you know you are not doing it enough you are not studying enough you are not coming in satsang you are not uh, uh, serious about in the path the initially the instructions are like this but when the balance shifts to the higher side they are brought back now no more experimenting sit down quietly do the cooking do the gardening do the shopping cleaning working physically with your body will bring the balance back otherwise it is gone the pull of the higher side is so much that you cannot resist it hmm pratib is saying is this shifting of attention enough but awareness has become automatic just by being awareness is eyes open and it shows up you see being aware will not cause the imbalance it should actually restore the balance because now you are aware that the balance has shifted it has become unbalanced so awareness is totally different game actually uh, being aware does not mean that you have shifted to the non physical it is an overall activity that can see the imbalance also and when as soon as you see the imbalance is it it happens automatically you see then uh, you need to restore it very simple those who have done this few times they will be able to do it and uh, those who are new they will just they want to get lost in the bliss so here the guru is very important the guru will prevent this thing and those who get lost in the <laughs> nothingness they actually don't get lost because the balance will shift back naturally and when they come back they are half mad you can see it in their eyes you know half closed eyes or they are looking upwards a little bit the eyes will look like drunk their talk will be meaningless garbage they are not grounded at all and they will do unnecessary things impulsive sometimes angry that they are back so this kind of madness can be treated very easily by service so explore your unfulfilled desires and the desires will ground you again the biggest desires are eating and procreation in which even the biggest gurus are engaged because <laughs> they know that if they don't engage in the grass only 5 days are left only 5 days are left today you don't desire anything start counting after 5 days death is happening yes 
Even if you fulfill the desires, there is nothing to achieve here. It is simply a mechanism to keep the creature going to complete its lifetime, to prevent the unnatural death of this creature. Now the Guru is a totally different game because the Guru will take on so much. He will take on your desires and somebody else's and hundred more. Now that ensures hundred more lifetimes for service. So the Guru is reverse. The Guru looks like the Guru is going in reverse compared to the student. And the funny thing is he is telling the student to give up the desires and give, you know detach and dispassion. And he himself is getting engaged in the world, you know, building the ashrams and riding the bikes and buying the helicopters. So people, especially the ignorant people, they get confused. You know, what is happening here? The Guru has 20 girlfriends but he is asking you to remain celibate. Don't look at the TV, don't look at the internet. How is that possible? So now you will get a good you know, bird's eye view of what is happening in the land of spirituality. It's complete madness here.